The foundational requirement for operating any type of airline or air taxi operation is an air carrier certificate. An on-demand air taxi service like ours must be operated under Part 135, which is a different certificate from the ones used at large airlines who are regulated under Part 121. Getting a 135 air carrier certificate is a five-phase regulatory process that involves writing and submitting numerous manuals detailing the processes and procedures your air taxi operation will follow. When I joined Joby, we very quickly came to the conclusion that we should build our air taxi operation from scratch rather than buying an existing Part 135 operator. Building it yourself allows you to develop procedures specifically relevant to the unique nature of the operation you plan to do, rather than adopting procedures and manuals written by others that would not be relevant and would require extensive rework to be successful. So we completed the five phases, writing more than a thousand pages of manuals and received our Part 135 certificate in May of 2022. For two years now, we've been flexing the muscles of our air taxi operations using the aircraft right behind me, a Cirrus SR-22, which is an aircraft that can be operated with one pilot and four passengers, just like our Joby aircraft. We're using this aircraft to test different types of operations and our software integrations. A couple of examples of what we've done with our Part 135 over the last two years include running an internal shuttle service for team members between our sites, bookable via an early version of the Rider app that allows for on-demand by the seat booking, building and using systems to take payment from external customers, and offering a paid charter service to both team members and non-employee customers. All of these trials have been opportunities to use and continue to improve our software, like the Pilot app, and our back-end scheduling system, as well as the linkages between these systems. Looking ahead, we'll be able to add any type certified aircraft to our Part 135 certificate by going through an abbreviated approval process. We'll be able to make progress on the first three of five phases required even before receiving our Joby aircraft type certificate, expediting our path to operations. Alongside the Part 135 certificate, we'll also need to build out a number of other items you'd typically associate with running an airline, including operation centers that manage and monitor the aircraft and customer service centers.